Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So I came across a new ship on Gamefront, and it's the Miranda 2. So this is a redesign of the Miranda class, basically, but it incorporates technology from the Sovereign, the Akira, and the Nebula class. It's equipped with quantum torpedoes, and it has quite a big weapons pod on top. So I thought a good first test might be against the Lakota as that's also an older design that's been upgraded. Here we go. Right, so we start off with photons, but the cool thing is, because we have so many weapon pods, we can do a big um, dispersal pattern. So, let's try it. Look at that, how cool is that? We also have a pretty insane phaser array. Are they gonna hit, actually? Oh, they did as well! They don't always connect. We can also fire quantum torpedoes. So can you imagine doing a quantum torpedo blast like that? The Lakota is definitely changing to quantums. I can just sense it. Now I've noticed the torpedoes on the ship. They're not the most accurate. They're quite slow. It's a very neat looking ship though. design elements from almost everything in there, I think. Try increasing power to sensors. That might improve our accuracy. Yep, there we go. Oh, so here's our quantums. Well, they're using quantums, so we're allowed to. <laughs> oh, look at that! Yeah. It's funny that in Star Trek, it's like, so who's going to be the first to use quantums? But it is like a super weapon, isn't it, really? When you mean business? Oh wow, look at that! Total destruction! Woo! Okay, well, let's try that the other way around. Right, here we go. I love being in the Lakota. Such a cool ship. Okay, we're gonna be slightly outgunned here. Let's get rid of those. Quantum torpedoes. Get to the quantums as soon as possible because we're going to need them. We want to defeat that thing. Ooh, we hit. Now I'm very concerned here. Ah, hang on. Do you know what? I think they're switching to quantums, which is very, very bad news for us because they can fire about 10 of them from the front and rear. Let's wait for our quantums. Come on, where are you? I'm assuming they have to be fueled at this point. That's why we have to wait. Ah, here we go. Oh, and they missed, didn't they? Of course they did. See, even if you get a target lock sometimes, they will still miss. It's just an approximation. And sometimes, if you time it right, you don't even need a target lock and you still hit. Oh, we collapsed the forward shield. You don't got any torpedoes? What's going on here? Are we overwhelming them? I'm not letting up though because I'm telling you. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Come on, Lakota. Hold it together. Good ship. Bad, not oh gosh, no, the warp nacelles! We're in battle mode now, <laughs> because the warp nacelles are detached. It improves maneuverability. Oh gosh, that's a big hole. It's going to take a while to clean up. Wow, that Miranda 2 is impressive. It really is. It does waste a lot of torpedoes, though. Gosh. I'm not sure how many they've got, actually. I think they have 50 Quantums, possibly. This is a real battle. Wow. Okay, there we go. Whoa. The Lakota is victorious. Well, looking at that, I think the Lakota is the toughest ship. It can take more damage 
However, the Miranda 2 has better weapons. It can fire more torpedoes and it's got more phaser arrays. I've put a link in the description below if you want to check the Miranda 2 out. It's currently on Gamefront and yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Add it to your collection. Well, I'm off to go and get my warp nacelles back. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.